Hey, what's up guys? I just got back from Taiwan, Singapore and Australia. Today I'm going to show you what I took on my trip to capture the videos and photos. Let's do it. Hey guys, so I just got back from a big trip um, and today I want to share with you the stuff that I took with me um, to capture the photos and videos. Let's have a look into my backpack. So to start off with, the backpack that I took with me is the Low Pro 450 Pro Tactic AW. This is the um, original one. I know they've released a new one since I got this, but I still love this. This does the job. I might look at upgrading in a couple years, but for now, this suits the purpose. I love this backpack because of all the threads at the front of it. You have um, you can clip on pretty much anything on here. So you can put your tripods. When I'm traveling, I usually have my jacket on here or some of my kids stuff. Yeah, there's a ton of pockets on here. So there's pockets here on the, um, the waist belt. There's pockets on the sides. There's this big hard cover. So when you drop something on it, it's not gonna damage your camera. It's definitely my favorite backpack. Now let's dive in and see what's inside. Okay, so just having a look inside, I've actually got this um, packed for my traveling. I just got back. Um, so if I'm going out for a photography shoot or a wedding, I usually have it packed differently. I have it in two sections. So most of my cameras and lenses in this section. And this has all my other stuff, all my all the accessories. There's plenty of space here for an extra shirt or a small jacket in case I need it. As you can see, I like to keep my bag pretty neat and tidy. I keep all the accessories in these little pouches. Let's have a quick look at what my pouches include. So in this first pouch, I actually have my hard drive. When I'm traveling, I don't format, so I only carry one hard drive with me. And the second copy is actually on my SD cards. Um, this is an SSD drive. In my second pouch, I have my audio equipment. So in here, I've got my Zoom H1. I've got my video mic. I've got a lav mic in the corner there. This is the power pouch. In here I've got everything I need to charge pretty much everything. The only thing that I've taken out from here is my laptop charger. So in here I've got my DSLR charger, my extra power bank, international converter, USB, iWatch and GoPro charger. This is my travel wallet, so it's got all my passports, forms and stuff in there. Uh, black rapid strap. Um, I hate neck straps, so when I'm traveling, I almost always exclusively wear a black rapid strap. Memory card wallet. Everybody needs a memory card wallet. Keep your memory card safe. Extra wallet that I carry. And a pen light. Um, up here, we've got a bunch of batteries, business cards, and more batteries. So what's next guys? Let's have a look at what camera I take. This is probably the bit that you've been waiting for. Let's check it out. On this last trip, I took the brand new Canon EOS R. This camera was a beast. This camera was a workhorse when I'm traveling. There's a few things this thing is lacking. And, uh, but I will talk about that in a different video. I'm planning on doing a camera review of this video, of this camera. So wait for that one. I'm gonna be talking about how this performed when I was traveling. On this camera is the Canon 24105, um, the new RF 24105. This lens actually performed really well. Um, I wish, I kind of wish it had a bit more light. So I kind of wish it was maybe like an F2.8. I know that'll bump up the price and probably make it a lot bigger, but an F2.8 would have been really awesome with IS. The IS on this works amazingly. It's probably one of the best in-lens IS that I've ever used. Okay, what else is in here? I've got the uh, adapter. So this adapter pretty much allows me to use any Canon EF or EFS lens on my EOS R. My second lens is the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8. This, this this lens is really good on this camera. I feel like it's a great combination. 
this is a beautiful lens for video and um, if you want to take full frame photos at 35, 35 millimeters, this is a good lens for that. So at night time, I'll take this lens out and shoot um, street photography. Pretty awesome combo with this camera. I wish this had IS, it would have been made a bit better, but it doesn't, so we have to live with that for now. Over here is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I have a love-hate relationship with this camera. This camera's uh, frozen up on me a few times and I accidentally formatted the card once. So, GoPro. But I love this camera because it's so small and it does 120 frames per second at 1080. So this camera does something that my other camera doesn't do and is why I love it. And it's waterproof. So when I was in Australia, I took this out into the ocean, I took it into the beach amazing i love this camera but it has some it needs some firmware updates on the bottom of this is my new kind of uh handle for it it's a shuei um I don't, I don't really know the model number i might put it in the description below so take a look down there check this out so it's a handle right so you can also turn it into a tripod just like that and now you have a gopro tripod see that cool huh and if you need a little bit extra height so you can actually adjust this so this thing comes out I picked this up before the trip um, I thought this was the best option for me to put a GoPro on somewhere with legs and I'd be able to use it as a vlogging setup as well on top of that I've got my GoPro accessories to start off with this is the floaty so whenever I go in the water obviously you can't take the metal um, the grip I have on there just because um, it will rust, so I take this with me into the water. Um, this actually floats as well inside. It's pretty much just air. So if if, I, if it ever slides off my hands, um, it will just float up, hopefully. And this is the clip. Um, I use it sometimes if I need to clip my GoPro on somewhere. Woo! Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I take with me on this trip. I also take a laptop with me. Um, I have that set up somewhere else so I can't really show you right now. If you guys are interested in the Canon EOS R or the GoPro Hero 7 Black, I'm planning on doing some short reviews on it, um, just explaining how I used it and how well it performed on this trip. So stay tuned for that, smash the subscribe button if you want to see it and the bell icon to be notified when that happens. Um, and that's pretty much it for now, so until next time guys, go out and shoot and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.